Hi beautiful people and welcome back to Produce Kitchen. On the menu today we have chicken and cabbage soup with garlic bread. It's so comforting for this winter season. If you're new to my channel, you're welcome. Thank you so much for coming and please consider subscribing if you haven't done so. And if you're a returning subscriber, I love you all. Thank you so much for being here. So let's get into the video. Let's take a look at the ingredients we're going to need. 500 grams of white cabbage cut in medium-sized pieces, okay, and um, broken apart, you know, they stick together. Two chicken thighs, skinless, boneless, and cut in pieces. Some olive oil, 250 ml of chicken stock, one tablespoon of all-purpose flour, 200 ml of heavy whipping cream, and I have here cut already two large onions, one carrot, and half of a yellow bell pepper. Also, I have um, about 60 grams of parsley, half a teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of black pepper, and one teaspoon of thyme. And this is all we're going to need. So right now, I set my pot on the heat, and I added about three tablespoons of olive oil and the chicken. I seasoned it with half a teaspoon of salt and half a teaspoon of black pepper. I stirred it a bit and let it brown on all sides. You can find the list of ingredients and their exact measurements in the description box below. So um, right now the chicken is golden brown and I'll go ahead and uh, add the veggies. Okay, so first I added the onion, the carrot and the bell pepper. So right here, like I said before, I'm using half of a yellow bell pepper. You could use more bell pepper or even a different color. Okay, it's all okay. It's all good. Next, I added the chicken stock, stirred it and then added my white cabbage. Now I'm going to season it with garlic powder, black pepper and thyme, all one teaspoon each and salt to taste. Next, I'll add my parsley. I cut about two thirds of it, okay, added it and then left the rest to make my garlic bread. Next, I added about 200 ml of water, stirred it and covered it to cook on low heat for about 30 minutes, okay, or until it was, um, all the veggies were soft. So when it was well cooked, 30 minutes later, I put a tablespoon of flour in, um, in a plate, added some water to it, stirred it and put it into it. This is to thicken it a bit, okay, because we don't want it too watery. So then I let it cook again for about 10 minutes, okay, and then I added my heavy whipping cream. Stirred it and let it cook about five more minutes and it's done. Take a look at this. Let me give you guys a close-up. Just take a look at this. The aroma right now. <laughs> you guys know how it is. So good. So good. So I'll set my soup aside right now and let's make some garlic bread to pair it. So I'm using right here baguette bread. You could use any bread of your choice. It's all good. And then I sliced it and um, in a plate I added about a tablespoon of chopped garlic and 50 grams of butter, melted butter and some parsley. Let's say about a quarter cup of thinly sliced parsley. I mixed it all together and um, I'm using salted butter. So I don't need some any salt, but if you're using unsalted butter, you might want to add a pinch of salt to it, okay, to taste. Then I rubbed it all over the garlic bread and um, put it in the air fryer to cook for about five to six minutes, okay, not longer or until the edges are golden brown. If you don't want to do this in an air fryer, you can always put a little bit of butter in a frying pan and cook it on both sides, okay, until it's golden brown or in a preheated oven at 170 degrees for about 10 minutes. It gives you the same thing. So I'm going to pop this in an air fryer right now and um, five minutes later, ta-da, take a look at this. So, so good. So I'm going to take a test test and before I go, I thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you next time. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like and share. I'll see you next time. Bye. Mmm. Mm.